Hey, this is Ray Dombrowski. In this video, I will show you three ways to add texture and distress to your graphics. First in Adobe Illustrator and then in Adobe Photoshop. So I'll start with the logo I've created using my logo templates. This is a method I use with Adobe Illustrator files. And with Illustrator, the easiest way to add distress is to use bitmap textures. Bitmap textures are just black and white Photoshop files saved in a bitmap format as opposed to RGB, CMYK, or grayscale. The great thing about bitmap textures in Illustrator is that whatever is black can be assigned a color and whatever is white appears transparent. If you want the distress to knock back to the background color, you can just select the bitmap TIFF and assign it the same color as the background. If I wanted to invert this logo and put it on a black background, I'll select the bitmap TIFF and assign it to black. Same thing goes for any other color. When you're using bitmap TIFFs in Adobe Illustrator, they do appear quite grainy and pixelated on the screen, but as soon as you export the images or print them out, the bitmap TIFFs will appear smooth. Illustrator has always been like this for some reason, but if you want to see how it will look, just go to File, Save for Web, and you'll see that the texture actually looks really nice. That's it for the basics in Illustrator. There are some fancier ways to use this method with clipping masks, and maybe I'll show that in a future video. The second way I add distress is in Photoshop. I'll first paste in the same logo from Illustrator, then I'll open up a JPEG texture, this one from the Overspray Gradients collection, and then I'll copy and paste that into a new channel. Now highlight that channel and command click on it to make a selection, or you can also go select, load selection, and choose the alpha channel you just made. Everything that is white will be selected, everything that is gray will be partially selected, and everything that is pure black will not be selected. Now select inverse. Go back to your layers palette and go edit fill and fill it with a color. Here I just want the texture to go over the black part of the logo and not the background, so I'll make a copy of that logo and I'll paste it into a new channel. Make a selection by command clicking on it. Go back to the Painted Distress layer and hit Edit Clear or Delete to get rid of the color outside the logo. The third and quickest way to add distress is to use Photoshop brushes. In most of my texture products, I offer them as JPEGs, bitmap TIFFs, and also Photoshop brushes because I think designers like to have the option depending on how they want to use the textures. Here I'm going to group the Color Distress layer we just made with the Logo layer. I now go Layer, Layer Mask, Reveal All, and this makes an alpha channel that I can paint into that will affect these grouped layers. I'm going to add in a light tan color to the background layer. Now I select a brush. This one is from the Bad Photocopy series. All I do is paint black into that channel I made with my brush, and it makes transparency using the texture of the brush. So when you paint into that channel, you see the light tan background below coming through. I'll put links to all these items below in the description. Also be sure to sign up for my newsletter and you'll be able to download a collection of free graphic design resources called Design Launch Kit. This includes free vector graphics, patterns, mock-up templates, and textures. Thanks for watching.